Welcome to the C-Shoot uh, at the Open. Uh, I'm very pleased to have uh, Ari Baron, of uh, VP of Business Development of uh, A to Z Technologies Canada Corp, an innovative Israeli company that got listed on a TSX V uh, just a few months ago. My name is Yossi Boker. I'm the head of uh, business development for the TMX in Israel. And we start. Hello, Arye. Thanks for uh, being with us. Hi, Yossi. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Arye, tell us a little bit about A to Z and about the things that are so unique and special about your company. Absolutely. So A to Z was actually established in 1988. Uh, it is a primarily biz- it's a primarily defense uh, company. Uh, we make unmanned ground vehicles and other weaponized technologies for the Ministry of Defense of the State of Israel and the Israel Defense Forces. Uh, that's been our bread and butter business since 1988. We've always been a profitable company. We've always been a revenue generating company. And the last 12 months or so, we decided to adapt the core business of the company and also adapt it to the civilian markets, primarily to the automotive industry. We have special patent and technologies that are coming out this year, which we believe are going to revolutionize the auto industry. Um, and nevertheless, it, our brick and mortar is still the defense industry, but we are in a very, very unique situation right now. The company is led by Mr. Bensler Joseph. He founded it in 1988. He has a very extensive business track record. Uh, one of his previous companies was sold to Disney for an enormous valuation, you know, the Shamrock Group. I was also the chairman and director of other billion dollar public companies. And whoever is interested, his uh, bio is on our website. You can feel free to go ahead and uh, look him up. That's great. Arie, I'm uh, very interested in learning more about the civilian applications of your technology. I guess that it's going to play a significant role in the development of uh, A to Z in the coming years. So could you please elaborate on this? Absolutely. So we've taken our 30 years of innovative technology and know-how, and what we've done actually to civilian markets in the automotive industry is that we're able to create a patented technology that we're coming out with it this year for the civilian markets. And what it does, is it sits in the gas tank of the car. And whenever there is a collision, um, it's, also, uh, con- uh, it's also linked to the airbag sensors. So whenever the airbag sensors are deployed, there's a collision, our system is deployed. And basically what it does is inject special gases and special chemicals into the gas tank, into the gasoline, which turn the gasoline to be inflammable, meaning the fire cannot erupt at that point going forward. Um, I don't know if you know these, but the statistics are just overwhelming. One out of eight calls to the U.S. fire departments is for a highway vehicle fire. The fatalities in the, in the, in the car crashes are not so much from the actual crash. People are unfortunately maimed, they're injured from the crash. But the fire that comes causes the fatality. So we believe that this is going to save countless amount of lives. You know, the statistics are unbelievable. Just in Israel alone, uh, the small country that we live in, eight vehicle fires a day on average in the last year, just here in Israel. An enormous fatality rate, not to mention the billions of dollars of damages to all to property and to cars and to real estate nearby. So we believe that we have a solution for this problem. And we believe that this will be mandatory in every new car coming up in the next couple of years. Amazing. Arie, uh, we cannot avoid uh, the question about uh, your company dealing with the, the coronavirus. How, how does it affect your company and the business? That's a great question. You know, we're very uncertain times right now. It's a very difficult uh, environment. We're actually very, very fortunate. You know, as I said, the company's primary uh, business is the military defense business. We are categorized as an essential service uh, uh, provider for the Ministry of Defense, the IDF, the police. Uh, and as such, we're currently working at full capacity. Um, our revenues are not being hindered at all from this uh, from this situation. And we were fortunate enough, uh, as you know, coming to the, uh, to the uh, TSXV, then the last three months, we raised uh, a little bit over a million dollars in two uh, uh, capital raises. 
So we're sitting on a very nice, uh, comfortable cash uh, stockpile right now. Uh, on the one hand, on the other hand, our business and revenue is not being uh, hindered at all. Uh, so we really are lucky, you know, the timing could not have been better for us to come to the TSXV and do the capital raises. Obviously, when we did that, we did not anticipate the coronavirus coming out, but we're in a very uh, good situation. And, you know, last but not least also, now we well, cash is king and we have cash and we're uh, actually getting our service providers, you know, we're buying things 50 cents on the dollar, uh, which is also helping us to, uh, uh, to generate more profit and to grow our bottom line. What's your uh, value proposition to your investor and what is your approach towards your investors? Well, first of all, yes, that's a great question. And I'll tell you, the management of the company, led first of all by Ben and I'd like to say myself as well, our mission statement is always create shareholder value for our shareholders. We take that very serious. It's not a slogan. We're working tirelessly. One of the reasons why we came to the TSXV. Uh, one of the reasons why we're exploring all these wonderful business opportunities that we're having now, we want to create as much business value for our, our shareholders. We value them very, very much. We see them as our as our partners and they trusted us with their hard earned money and we'll work very hard, vigorously, with utter determination to create as much value as we possibly can. And my last question for this short session, Arie, you have been on the TSXV for the last uh, four months, I believe. What does it mean for you to be a TSXV issuer and how does it serve your uh, company? Well, actually, first of all, I want to thank you personally. I mean, you've really been an inspiration. You really helped us to get through this uh, through this process. Uh, it's been uh, it's it's been a great blessing for us. You know, the time could not have been more perfect. Like you said, end of December of last year, uh, we became public on the TSXV. We were able to raise capital. Um, you know, when we raised the capital, we had no idea the coronavirus was around uh, the corner. And more importantly, than just the capital, because as I said, you know, we we can continue our operations from our ongoing revenues. But I think we are in a very unique situation that we can really market our products and our new technologies, also using the public platforms, which uh, the TSXV is making available for us. We're getting a tremendous amount of positive feedback from the investment banking community, from the shareholder community, from you, from the TSX. I mean, here we are in this uh, wonderful interview with you, which we really appreciate. So we're getting our, our message out, our technology out. And we believe that uh, this is a great, great, great stepping stone for uh, for any company uh, that wants to uh, move forward and, uh, and, and 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 grow its business into a huge conglomerate like we do. Great, great hearing this and great talking to you, Arie. And I wish you and I wish all of us good luck and good health. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yossi. Everybody stay healthy. Be well.